Hey guys, it's Brandon here, and today we're going to be installing some ARP head studs on this BMW M20 B25 motor, and then installing my freshly rebuilt cylinder head. I'll put the instructions for the ARP installation up on screen now if you want to read that. Um, but basically all we're going to do is we're going to take the head bolts here through and just inspect your threads. If any of them are damaged, ARP does sell a thread chase to repair them. None of the bolts will come in contact with coolant, so you can use Loctite like the instructions recommend for permanent applications. However, I'll be just using the fastener assembly lubricant that comes standard with these head studs. So I cleaned up the studs and I put some of the assembly lubricant on the threads there. Um, the side we're going to put into the block again is the side without the Allen on it. You want the Allen facing up. So here's one installed. ARP says hand tight. So you're going to want to take a four Allen on the top there and just tighten it down by hand and then clean up some of the gunk that might come out of the threads from the sealer at the bottom. Um, I'm going to go ahead and install the rest now and I'll update you after. So I'm going through the studs, cleaning them one by one and there is gunk in some of these threads. So it is super important to clean them and get that stuff out or they might bind up or not set in all the way. So I have all of the head studs in now and they're all hand tight. I did move my strut bar up a little bit. I just um, undid some of the bolts and pushed it up. I hope I have enough room. If not, I'm gonna have to take it off. Um, it's a good time now too to make sure that uh, the head is in time and the pistons are in time. On the block here, you'll see a little line down here on the wheel and this corresponding line there you're going to want those to be lined up that means you're at top dead center which would be pistons one and six at the top all the other ones are at the bottom then on the head over here which i showed in my head rebuild video so on the head here you're going to want the camshaft line right here this timing line to be lined up with the head here that means that it will work with top dead center with the pistons so I have the head on now, and the next thing you're going to want to do is using the fastener assembly lubricant supplied is to put some lubricant around all the threads of all these head studs. And then as per the instructions, you're going to want to lubricate the inside of the nuts and put some on the washers as well. Then you're just going to install them onto here. I'm just going to go hand tight for now, and then I'll show you the torquing procedure. I'm just about finished up with assembling um, all the nuts and the washers. I just want to show that just need a little bit of lubricant on the face there. And then I use my pinky to rub in um, the first couple of threads. And then on the washers, I just rubbed it in my hands. I have a glove on with a bunch of this all over it and just put them on as well. So I got all of these just uh, snugged up now. Um, the socket you're going to want to use is going to be a 12.12 millimeter socket. Um, and the torque procedure on these, you're gonna start in the middle here. This is one, two, then you're gonna go to three, four, five, six, and then it's in a star pattern that way. Um, the torque procedure, starting at one, you're gonna do 23 foot pounds through the whole thing. Then you're going to adjust the torque wrench to 46 foot-pounds and do them all again in the same procedure. Then you're going to move to 70 foot-pounds. And I'll put up the instructions again and the chart to show which ones to do where. So I just torqued all these down to 23 foot-pounds. On two of them, the torque wrench got close to 23 and then it slipped a little bit. And I believe that's normal because of all of the... Um, assembly lubricant we put in there, uh, the fastener lubricant. So if that happens to you, don't worry about it. As long as you get to 23 and it starts tightening up again, it's all good. The next step is 46 foot pounds and then one more time to 70 foot pounds and we should be all set. I just torqued all these bolts down to 46 foot pounds. Um, the wrench slipped a lot more. I was watching it this time and it's actually just the washers setting in because of the lubricant on them. Um, once it slips a little bit, it'll immediately get tight again. It's nothing to worry about. Just make sure you get to 46. Um, next up is the 70. 
the bolts are all torqued down to 70 foot pounds now. I didn't have any slippage on the torque wrench that time. They all went nice and smooth all the way to 70. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but I'm gonna go and just wipe off a little bit of the extra assembly lubricant I put on the studs that are on the top. Um, and then that's it for this head. It should be all set. So the main portion of the head is all set. The next step is going to be adjusting the valves and I'll show you how to do that. Um, you could also now put on your timing belt. I'm waiting for a water pump delete from Stimtech Racing. Um, that should be coming in in a week or two and I'll be sure to make a video on that. Anyway guys, I have a video coming soon about the Stimtech water delete plate and the thermostat delete from Leo Grande Racing. Um, so watch out for those and thank you for watching.